Hello friends, welcome to Cold Cafe. This is Asfa. Today we are going to have a look on leave calculations. Before calculating the salary, we must calculate the leave. How much leave employee have been took, whether he have been took any excess leave. According to that, we have to deduct some salary. How we have to consider the leave? We are going to have a look on this. First thing is sick leave. For example, if I took leave for any other medical purpose and while returning to the job, if I give my sick leave letter with the medical acknowledgement means my leaves would be considered as a sick leave. Next thing is casual leave. Company won't consider for any stronger reason like the medical leave like that. For any normal or usual thing for family purpose, we can take this casual leave. Earned leave is in the name itself we can identify. For this leave, you can earn. Very simple. For the past one year, if I didn't use my earned leave means at the end of my year, in the next financial year, my earned leave will get in cash. Maybe my sick leave is also there, my cash leave is also there, my earned leave is also there. I didn't utilize any leave apart from my company holidays. So what company will do is they will in cash my earned leave. Earned leave, whichever I didn't use for the past one year, all these things would be get in cash. So that's why most of the employees try to save the earned leave. Now let me tell you on a simple example how the leave had been calculated. In my concern, what I would do is leave would be calculated in a financial basis. Okay, for an example, April to March is our financial year that everybody knows. Month on month basis, they will add leaves up. One one leave from each and every head, it will be get added. Three leaves are there. Casual leave, year leave, sick leave. So what company will do is if April month have been started means they will add three leaves to me like casual leave one, year leave one, sick leave one. April month I will work if I took any leave means it will detect in my casual leave or sick leave or year leave like that. If I took any excess leave means it will go in a loss of pay. If I didn't took any leave means this three leaves will get carry forward for the next month. For an example, in April month, I didn't took any leave means. So this casual yearned sick leave, all these three leaves, one one leave is there. In the next May month, it will carry forward. And once again, in May month, company once again been allotting three leaves like a casual leave one, yearned leave one, sick leave one. So one one leave is company has been allotting. So April month leave is also there. May month leave is also there. So in my leave current balance, I'm having two two leaves like a casual leave two, yearned leave two, sick leave two. That's my May month balance. Same goes for June, July like that. Till July month. If I didn't took any leave means. So this is the fourth month end. Nah? Like April, May, June and this is July. So four month I didn't took any leave means. At the end of July month I am having four leaves in each and every year. In year and leave I am having four. Cash and leave I am having four. And in sick leave I am having four. This is how my leaves has been carried forward. Next thing is if I took any leave means my salary would be get deducted. For an example, let's calculate the June month salary. My salary is 30,000. I took 15 days of leave. And what I did is, at the end of the month, I just given my leave letter to my team leader as well as one human resource. Both of them consider my leave letter. And in this 15 days leave, company, what have been done is, they have been considered 6 days of my leave and they have been deducted from my year and leave and cash leave. And the remaining 9 days, they have been considered as a loss of pay. That is, they have been deducted from my salary. So, my actual salary is 30,000. But what I get it in June month is 21,000. 9 days of salary was deducted. Why company have been paid? Only 21,000. Why they deducted my 9 days salary? I have been already given my 15 days leave letter. Na? What company have been done is, in my leave balance, I am having 9 days of leave. From April month, the leave has been calculated. So, April month, 3 days is there. May month, 3 days is there. And June month, 3 days is there. So, totally 9 days of leave is there in my leave balance. This 9 days, how it's been divided is, year leave 3 days, cash leave 3 days, and sick leave 3 days. So, totally 9 days are there. So, company can consider this 9 days of leave. But, company considered only 6 days of leave. What they left is, they left my sick leave. Why? Because... I didn't give any sick leave letter or medical certificate because this is not my medical leave. This is just not my casual leave whereas I just spent with my family members. So company what they will do is they won't consider my sick leave balance. Sick leave only calculate if we submit our medical certificate. Apart from that sick leave letter won't be considered. So ultimately company considered only casual leave and annual leave. So totally six leaves was considered. In 15 days six leave would be considered means balance nine days would be there. Nine days recognized as loss of pay. 
so from a 30 days of work 9 days loss of pay was considered balance 21000 i was get as my salary okay let's took another example same thing 15 days i took but in this time for given any medical certificate means what company will do is company will deduct my sick leave also in this time so here my sick leave 3 is there end leave 3 casual leave 3 is there so all these 9 days would be considered from my leave balance and the remaining 6 days only considered as loss of pay so 15 days i took leave leave balance would be get deducted the balance 6 days would be considered as loss of pay so here i am getting 24,000 as my salary so my actual salary is 30,000 okay, in the first scenario I am getting 21,000 as my salary because there I didn't give any sick leave letter just I gave only cash letter in the second scenario I gave medical certificate so here I am getting 24,000 as my salary because my sick leave also considered over here this is how salary calculation would be there next scenario for the past one year, I didn't took any leave, didn't use my year leave, cash leave and sick leave. I just am regular to the office. So at the financial year end, what company will do as per company policy, they will encash my year leave. For leave encashment, they will use to calculate basic DNS allowance and a house rent allowance. They won't consider medical convenience and special allowance. So basic plus DNS allowance plus house rent allowance for one day has been calculated and multiples of 12 because 12 months in a year 12 year and leave I didn't use. So for these 12 days I will get the encashment. That's how year and leave would be get calculated. This is about the leave calculation how we have to consider each and every leaves and how we have to detect uh, the loss of pay and everything. After this calculation only you have to go for the salary hits and you have to calculate the EPF ESA and all. Before that if you have been calculated uh, and later if you have been working with the leave calculation means completely the whole calculations will go wrong their salary would get vary once the loss of pay would get calculated this is about the leave calculations for the salary process if you find this information helpful for you means just give a like and share it with your friends do subscribe if you want any other kind of information related to this means just drop in the comments thank you friends